Today I want to talk to you about a type of emotional baggage that can really drive a wedge between a husband and wife in marriage. And this is the problem of shame. Now I know you're thinking, what is he talking about? Shame is the deeply rooted belief that there's something wrong with you, that you're defective, that you have something to hide, that you're not as good as other people. And you have to protect yourself so no one can see what you're really like. Is they, if they saw what you were really like, you know that they would reject you. And this feeling of shame usually starts very young in your family of origin. And if your parents struggled with shame, then they would naturally shame you. And it could be from shaming comments like, you're stupid, you're weak, you're never going to amount to anything, and I'm ashamed of you. And that you may start that way, but then when you enter school, a teacher might make an offhand comment that makes you think, oh, I really am stupid, and I really can't learn, and I really won't amount to anything. And then it's worse if you're bullied, because when you're bullied, that is to reinforce the feeling that there is something wrong with you, and no one likes you, and you're rejected. So then you grow up feeling that there's something wrong with you, and you have something to hide. Well, then the most common defense mechanism that humans use when they are damaged by shame and feel they have something to hide is we wear masks. And a mask is a false front that we create that we think people will like. And so the people will want to be around us when they see this socially acceptable mask. But the problem with this mask is it can become a huge marriage handicap. Because, you see, you wore this mask so that someone would want to marry you. So then after you get married, the lies that you've accumulated from your past tell you you must never let the mask down. Because if you let the mask down and your spouse sees what you're really like, you know that they will reject you, they'll be horrified, and they'll want a divorce. So this keeps you tense and fearful and defensive. And it, keeps, it means that you keep your spouse at arm's length. You don't want them too close to see what you're really like. Well, this creates tremendous tension in marriage and great confusion for your spouse because they want to get close and you keep backing away and they, of course, have no idea why you're doing that. And another way that shame-damaged people can act that will really disrupt marriage is if they become very intimidating and angry and condescending. And that's just another way of pushing people back so they don't get too close or blaming other people. You see, a person who's struggling with shame, they can never accept blame for anything because that just reinforces that there's something wrong with them. So they're always blaming others and usually it's their spouse. So these are behaviors that come from the pain of shame that started long ago that drives a wedge between husbands and wife. And it causes so much disruption in so many marriages. But here's the good news. Jesus doesn't want you to live that way. He wants to heal your shame. He wants to heal all those wounds from your past. He wants to remove all those lies that you've been believing about yourself and replace them with his truth of how he feels about you. Because you're his pearl of great price. You are special to him. You are his special son and daughter. Also, you've invited him in. He lives inside you. He has made you complete because he's complete and he lives inside. And so he wants to shine out through your chest and you don't want to wear a mask to hide the face of Jesus. He wants to live through you to make your marriage stronger. And so when you get to know Jesus and get to know how much he loves you, then you don't need a mask and you can allow anyone to get close to you. And you can be relaxed in all your relationships, especially with your spouse. And so Jesus is waiting to set you free. But the question is, will you let him? And you may need to talk to a counselor. They can walk you through this process of healing even faster. So I encourage you this week, take, examine yourself. Are you wearing masks? Are you hiding yourself because you feel defective? And this can be the end of that feeling. Now I want to hear from you. Have you struggled with shame? And do you see yourself in these descriptions? And how did you recover from it? What did, what did Jesus show you so you could recover? So if this is your first visit here, you need to get my free self-assessment guide. And to do that, just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter by filling out the subscription form, which is on this website. Just click on Join the Transformation Movement. And I'll talk to you again next week. But this week, take a look at yourself and your relationships. And Jesus just may want to completely heal you.